Uh, welcome, teachers. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create. I've been messing around with uh, Google Drive, and there's a lot of cool tools that help teachers. Like if you want to create, you know, keep track of grades or other things, it's kind of neat for your classroom. So I teach fourth grade, so I'm going to show you how I might create a form for homework. Like the kids can click a form. You can make a form so when they come in, they can. Uh, you can have this on the computer screen, and they can. You know, say, click on yes, I have my homework, or no, I don't. Um, just kind of get them to self monitor or other, you know, you create other forms. So go to create spreadsheet. Even though we're going to create a form, you need to go to create spreadsheet. Or uh, there's, some, there's some reasons why. Uh, just trust me on this. I've messed around with it, and uh, you have to do it this way um, to make it work better. But uh, so um, we have an untitled spreadsheet. We're going to go to tools click it and go to create form. This is kind of a neat, this form thing is really kind of neat for creating all kinds of forms. You can do the form one too um, and create all kinds of, you can create t tests and uh, with your own questions. Uh, maybe I'll show you that in another tutorial. But um, So here we are, we have uh, an untitled spreadsheet and maybe we can call this, uh, click on the title, we'll just call it home work check maybe homework check and yeah, you can describe it here I'm not, not going to do that but if we go to questions so we're going to go to untitled question and we're going to get um, click on that and so you can see here it kind of gives you some options for this everything in this box is for this question so if you to if you say you know what's the capital of New York State you could have different multiple choice questions here and it would keep track of you know what they came up with but for this the question is actually going to be a student so we're just going to put the student's name and the answer will be their response so let's check this out so before but don't put the names in yet I'm going to show you why um, we're going to go to their choices first um, you could do all kinds of different things you could do text that's where you just punch in the the kids would, or whoever's doing it, would just punch in words. Um, multiple choice, obviously, that's multiple choice. Check boxes. Um, the scale is nice, but it only goes up to 10. So if you want to do numbers like grades, you have to kind of punch in your own numbers. I, I could show that in another tutorial too. But if you go to multiple choice, uh, we could do check boxes or multiple choice or choose from a list. Uh, let's go from choose from a list. It's just, to me, it's uh, it saves space on the screen. It's kind of easy for the kids to see. So for the first one, I'm going to just leave blank. And I'm going to put an X. It's a good habit to get into because if you're messing around with this, you'll see that um, some of the responses, if you submit it, it'll automatically click on the first response. It, I don't think it does it for this one, but um, just that's good practice to get into if you're using this um, to collect data. Um, so I have my homework is our first or actual second response. And then I do not have my homework. So there are two responses and we're done. Now, hold on a second. We're going to put names in here again. But before we do that, we're going to do this. If you go up here. This is the duplicate thing. So if you have 20 kids, instead of punching in, writing for each one, I have my homework, I do not have my homework, we're going to just duplicate, and all you got to do is punch in their names. So this can be used for all kinds of forms for the classroom that you could use. Um, you know, you could be creative with it. I use it a lot in math just to do, like, who has dogs and who has cats. It's good, like, and they can see the graph of it, which I'll show you in a second. So just go to duplicate. Uh, let's do three students, so we'll just do one and two and let's look up here now you have two students i'll just do one more duplicate it again and there we go we have three students so now it's going to ask them this question if you go if you look at this and we bring it up it's just that it'll look exactly the same but now let's say this is our first student so we'll call her amy a for amy just so you know it's the first one amy and we'll click on done yeah you know just put your first student in your class there amy done then we'll go down here 
and we'll do it again. So now that untitled question that was up here is now Amy. So Amy sees, she comes into the classroom, she's going to see Amy, and she clicks on her choice. So let's go to this one. Go to edit the untitled question. It's going to change the un, bring that up again. So again, it gives you the whole um, choices for whatever is in this box once you click on it. So you could change um, the type of question type again and have all different kinds of questions, but I'm just going to keep this the same. So let's get rid of, this is the second student, so let's call him A.B. Bob for the second student and go to done. So we have Amy Bob. Now we're going to go, we'll edit this one, and Amy Bob Carl. Go to done and go to untitled question. Again, Amy Bob Carl, and let's just do the last student is Dan and go to done. All right, now here's what data we're going to collect. Let's say we have four students in our class. We have Amy, Bob, Carl, and Dan. Um, by the way, if you, you want to do this for a whole class, um, do one template sheet with all the kids' names, and you can use it over and over again for the whole year. So, yeah, it takes a long time to put the first one in, but once you have their names in, you can just copy the whole form. Um, so here we go. Now, here's the, the cool thing. Here's where it gets cool. If you go to View Live Form, this is what the kids will see. So this is what is the thing that you'll bring up on your computer screen. So go to View Live Form. And here we go. We have, uh, here's the homework check. So as the kids will come in and they see here's homework check and Amy goes to her name. You could put, she could put X. I have my homework. I do not have my homework. But let's say she has her homework and submit. And let's say, th then this will come up. Let's say another student walks up and it goes and it's, it's Carl. Carl says, I do not have my homework. Submits. And then someone else submits another response. Um, I have my homework. Bob has his homework. Good job, Bob. Submit another response. I have my homework. Let's say Amy has her homework again. The cool thing about this, too, is it keeps a time stamp. So if you do it on Monday or Tuesday, it'll automatically keep track of the day. Submit another response. All right, we'll just keep going a little bit just to get some data. Not sure which how many I've done here, but it'll tell me. All right, I have my homework submit. All right. Um, now, when you want to see, when you're all said and done, you want to see what this looks like. Here's where it gets fun. Click off the X, X off, and it'll take you back to kind of your original form. And it'll show you now you have nine responses. So I've clicked on nine times. Go on to Summary of Responses, click on that, and it gives you a little data about um, Amy. So Amy, look at Amy. Nice job, Amy. She had her homework 100% of the time. Bob, oh, Bob's doing all right. He had his homework 67% of the time. Um, and Carl had his homework 67% of the time. And Dan did a nice job. So it gives you a good little quick little visual so you know kind of who's where with their homework. Um, it's great for the elementary classroom where, you know, you're just trying to get them in the process of bringing it home and taking it home and bringing it back and keeping track of that kind of uh, stuff. Uh, but you could do grades. You could do that kind of stuff. Um, and so I hope that helps. Um, maybe I'll, if anybody's interested, I'll plus more ways to like publish this on your website site and thanks thanks